The video you're watching now is running in real time in Unreal Engine 5.2 and this is the Electric Dreams from the folks at Epic Games. And just like several other things that the folks at Epic Games have released for Unreal Engine, this new feature for Unreal Engine 5.2 would definitely change how creators make stuff, iterate and deploy with Unreal Engine, as the procedural content generator is now here for Unreal Engine. Procedurally generated content has recently proven to be one of the best ways of creating content, especially for games and sets where final decisions are reliant on creators or directors' preference. And with Houdini championing this and the huge popularity of the geometry nodes from Blender, it's pretty impressive to see that Epic Games Unreal Engine is getting on with this with Unreal Engine 5.2. As during the GDC, Epic Games showcased their brand new procedural system for creating impressive landscapes and forests. Powered by Quixel Megascan, Epic Games is bringing an extra level of control and creation to Unreal Engine artists. And with the announcement of the sample project Electric Dreams environment available, anyone with a good GPU, a free 60GB of hard disk space and a copy of Unreal Engine 5.2 can go over to the marketplace, download these and start exploring it. So before we get into it and start playing with the sample file, what is PCG? The Procedural Content Generation Framework PCG is a toolset in early development for creating your own procedural content inside Unreal Engine, as PCG provides artists and designers with the ability to build fast iterative tools and content of any complexity, ranging from asset utilities such as buildings or biome generation up to entire worlds. And the Electric Dream Sample project demonstrates how PCG framework can be used to build tools, define rules and expose parameters to populate large scenes with Unreal Engine asset of your choice, making the process of large world creation fast, iterative and efficient. And for sure, this project not only showcases these, it also proceeds to showcase the use of Lumen, Nanite, Soundscape and also the new material system called Substrate which is currently an experimental new way of authoring materials that is pretty powerful for describing layer looks such as Opal and the rest. And for a closer look of the Electric Dreams, if you simply go over to Unreal Marketplace, which I'm going to put a link in the description, you'll be able to download the sample file. The first thing you might want to do is to create a project with it and launch Unreal Engine 5.2. So with Unreal Engine 5.2, you'll notice that we'll have a few levels with description. And right over here, you would see the recommendation of the PC that you might be needing to get things going. So the first things which you would need to do is to get rid of some of this. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close all of these because we were working on some LED panels earlier and we're going to go all the way to the levels which should exist somewhere there and we'll throw in that environment and so once we have the environment loaded in we can navigate through it so you do have a few drone controls and you also have a few teleport controls which you can use so we can just simply drive through this and you can see how lush green this is this is looking pretty decent of course this isn't the PCG one this is basically the environment uh, map which you can play with and uh, if we simply go all the way up and look at this from the top view you would see what we have so this is the pcg area and we can actually let's go ahead and simulate this and see what we're getting and i'm just going to also go through and uh, drag this all the way down all right so we can simply go ahead and fly through this so i'm going to hit shift and c on the keyboard and you can see our simple flight so the audio is up and you can definitely hear that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that down by a fraction and you can see how impressive this is. So you do have a few set of controls which you can definitely use. So we have keys like if you tap one on the keyboard, you can switch over to the PCG area. So if we are right here and we tap one on the keyboard, we are now at the PCG or in the PCG area. And from here, if you sort of look at this, you would see that we also have this very interesting camera smoothing thing going on. So we're going to travel through this part so we can see that. 
initially they did have a vehicle around here and this vehicle actually you know it moved with these things and at the same time you were able to have all of that water simulation going on all of the collision happening and that looks uh, pretty cool so enough of this let's take a look at some other parts of the electric dreams so for this one i'm just going to go ahead and bring the content drawer and we're going to navigate to levels go over to the pcg and we'll take a look at the electric dreams pcg so with the pcg scene loaded in you can see that we have very high quality stuff going on so for you to manipulate this is pretty easy so we can simply go ahead and grab any of these parts and from here we can actually start making some changes i could go over and switch this to the move tool and from the move tool we can move certain parts and you notice that automatically that we do have our landscape or you know we have our vegetation adjusting to that so you can move several parts and uh, you can have that working for you and this is basically what you know procedural creation or procedural stuff really really should look like especially for games that at any point in time you should be able to select certain assets and move them around and it's quite interesting to see that epic games is adding this up for unreal engine and with the fact that pcg is coming out and most people will be able to now create years and actually get some of these things going for them i think this will be very interesting and most users will find this quite appealing to work with in the long run you would also notice that these have a few handles so with the handles you can actually swivel these left and right to get exactly what you want and if we simply go right in let's just go through let me increase the camera speed for that so that we can you know travel a little bit faster yeah so if we go in now you would also notice that this is automatically generating this and everything around here is adapting to that generation and you've also got stuff like this which once you move them around they just disappear and blend in with the scene and it's just this little things that actually makes it worth it if we proceed to take a look at the close range version of the pcg you would also see some pretty interesting things that just makes this pop so right here we do have curves as most of these have been driven by curves and we can proceed to make some changes as well so i can drag that all the way out and you can see we now have some creation going out there and we can do the same thing here and we can just do the very same thing here so everything is just working together to make sure that you have like the best quality of things when working with the pcg and if you sort of look again you would see that, that because we made a little bit of a curve around here that we now have some patches like this is this is nice we can also extend these other parts let's also go ahead and extend these parts to a position like that and we can still you know flip these move the handles and i want you guys to just notice how cool this is and in terms of adaptation this simply adapts properly and recreates something that is pretty similar to what we might be wanting to create when exploring with procedural tools like this and for sure if you're tired of a point and probably you want to get rid of that you can simply select any point and hit the delete key to get rid of those points as well so pcg is now here and for those who are thinking about exploring with it or probably want to check the assets that was used in this you can definitely go over to the level that contains all of the assets and see all of the individual quick sell mega scan assets that brought this to life so this is it for those who like to take a look at this and uh, explore with this beautiful interesting looking lush green amazing stuff then links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and of course a huge shout out to the folks at epic games for making this possible and for sure if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace